What's up everyone, I'm Stonewall. Today we're going to be looking at the Arc de Triomphe set from Laws Mini. It's set number 1028 and has 1188 pieces. Let's build it. So I really like these architecture builds. That's actually the first series of sets I started buying from Laws Mini. They are obviously influenced by the Lego ones. And if you're unfamiliar with the Laws bricks, they're like Lego, just 75% the size. Lego has an architecture set of the Arc de Triomphe as well. It's a little more scaled down. It only has like three, 400 pieces, whereas this one has 1,200. So you get more detail with this one, which is nice. So taking a closer look at the Arc de Triomphe, which I forgot to mention is in Paris, France. The first thing I notice is the color scheme. They went for a predominantly white color, which the Lego set did as well. Uh, from pictures online, it looks kind of more like a light tan color because it's made out of stone. But I guess that's kind of always a dilemma in these architecture sets, whether to go to tan or white. So the art comes on a couple of small base plates, which is kind of unique for the Laws sets. 
Most of the architecture sets come with that black tiled border around it. This one has black slopes instead, kind of sets it up. Um, it doesn't come with the little name badge though, which is kind of a disappointment. On the bottom, there is some nice tile work, different shapes, circles and squares and grill pieces to make it look like a textured stone floor. There are also some chains around both sides to uh, prevent people or probably cars in real life getting too close to the arc. In the middle here, we see um, the flame. I think that is the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. I think it's from World War I is what it honors. A little flame and plaque there. Whereas the arch itself, I think online it said it honors soldiers from the Revolutionary War and Napoleonic Wars. The arc is very symmetrical. It is got a couple arches on the side and then a main arch on top of it. We see that there is a statue with some horns. In real life, these are kind of bigger uh, statues, but representational there. A lot of greebling. You got some stuff up here. These little uh, rack gear pieces here for some greebling. And then just like in between the layers here and here, a lot of greebling. They chose this blue color. I'm not entirely sure from uh, pictures of the actual arc. It doesn't look blue at all. I did see some pictures at night where the lights on the ground shining up on the arc create a shadow on these this part right here and it kind of looks blue so I'm guessing that's where the blue comes from. So I'm not entirely sure why it's blue but I don't know it looks good. It's a nice little accent even though it's, if it's not as accurate. There are a few sticker pieces here on the inside columns. There is uh, some ornate work with some scribbling there for some engravings that are on the inside. And then on the front and sides, they have this little indented area with some stickers. That kind of represents a lot of smaller carvings that are around there on the art. And then we get up to the top, there is a fence, which keeps people from falling off in the real thing. And then just some more tiles on top. So that's the Arc Day Triumph set. Let me know if you like this one or the Lego one better. I like the added detail on this one. I think it looks pretty good. Otherwise, be sure to subscribe to my channel to check out the next video.